Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. I am Aida Hartini Mahmud, mathematics teacher from SK Jalan 4, Bandar Baru Bani. With me today is Puan Kathy Lee from SKPK Jalan Peel, our sign language interpreter. Today, we are going to learn about data in mathematics year 3. In this session, you will learn how to collect, classify and sort data and also read and get information from a pie chart. So, I hope by the end of the lesson, you will be able to collect simple data, classify and sort it in a table. Apart from that, you will be able to read and get information from a pie chart. Before you collect and classify data, you must understand which is data and which is not. Let's have a look. Let's say we want to collect data on the types of transport used by pupils to go to school. And we have this information. Which of these are data for the types of transport? Can you circle it? Aha, good. The first one is car. Next, another car, bus, and bicycle. These are data for the types of transport. Let's try another one. Which of these are possible data for each? Well done! 3 7 15 40 and 11 are data for each. Now, you can see that data is actually a group of information or facts which can be in words, numbers, or both. Well, you collect data because you want to get information. But how can you get the data or information that you want? The easiest way is from observations. We can collect data from things available around us. Cool, huh? Now you know what data is and how to collect them. Let's learn how to classify and sort them so that you can use and understand them better. Let's say you want to know your friend's favorite color. And 15 of your friends give their favorite colors like this. Your data can be easily understood if you write them in a table. In this lesson, I will share two methods on how you can classify and sort your data. The first one is to draw a tally. 
Are you ready? First, you have your notes. Draw a table like this. First column, you write down the types of colors just like in your notes. Next column for tally. And last column for numbers. Write down all the colors that appear in your notes like this. Tally means you draw a vertical line. Let's look at the first color in your note. It is red. Pick up your pencil and draw a single line in the table like this. Be careful. Make sure it is at the right row. I cross the word red in the note like this so that I will not redraw another tally for red. Let's continue to the next color in your note. It is blue. Draw a tally for blue like this and cross the word blue in your note. Continue the process of drawing tally like this. Until you finish all the information in your notes. When you come to the fifth rate, you will draw the tally like this. Diagonally. And that is the last data in your notes. Now that you have done the tally, Next, you just have to count how many tally for each color. You have 5 for red, 4 for blue, 2 yellow, and 4 for green. If you are not keen to draw a tally, you can use a tick. In order to count the data for each color. Again, we need a table. And the process is still the same. Read the first data in your notes. Draw a tick for red. Continue with blue. Another blue. Do the rest. Until you finish all data in your notes. Next, you count the ticks for each color and write the number in the respective column. Done. So, now you know how to transfer the data in the table. Which method do you find easy? Is it the tally or the tick? See, both of them give you the same number as long as you do it correctly. Let's try with a set of data. The data shows the favorite juice of a group of pupils. Classify and sort the data in a table. 
make a tally. By looking at the pictures, can you name the juice? Good! You have watermelon, star fruit, orange, apple, and kiwi juice. First, you draw a table like this. Write down the types of juices and be ready to make the tally. Look again at the data. Rina, Alia, and Lynn love watermelon juice. So, you have to make three tallies for watermelon. Back to the table, draw three tallies. Back to the data, look and make a tally for each of them. I would advise you to make it one by one in order to avoid a miscount. And also remember, every time you reach the fifth data, draw a tally diagonally. Let's see if you can draw the correct tally for each juice. Aha! Well done! Now, you have to write down the number for each juice. How? Count the tally. 8 for watermelon. 5 for star fruit, 7 for orange juice, 6 for kiwi, and 4 for apple. Excellent! You already know how to make tables and tally. How about you present the data? in a pie chart. It will look like this. We use a pie chart to display data in a circle. It will make the data more presentable. It does look attractive, right? By the way, do you understand the chart? The top line is the title of the pie chart. In this case, the title is Pupil's Favorite Juices. It is short and brief, telling you what the chart is all about. Look at the number inside the pie. They represent the number of pupils. For example, six pupils love kiwi juice. How do you know it is kiwi? The word ki shows you the types of juices for each color shown in the pie chart. Now, I would like you to complete the sentences. Let's see if you really understand what we have learned just now. The pie chart shows
shows good the pie chart shows pupils favorite juice there are types of juice in the chart easy just count how many types of juice there are five types of juice in the chart the most favorable juice is look at the chart which type of juice has the biggest number the most favorable juice is the watermelon juice the number of pupils who like orange juice is say the number well done the number of pupils who like orange juice is 7 Let's look at the last question. The least favorable juice is Again, look at the chart and find the juice with the smallest number. Done. The least favorable juice is apple juice. Well done. Get them all right. Let's try this. The title for this pie chart is Pupils Birth Months. Which color represent which month? We have four pupils born in january 5 in march 2 in april 3 in july and 6 in september now try to complete these sentences the pie chart shows They are pupils born in March. The largest number of pupils is in only pupils were born in April. Have you got the answers? Let's look if you got them right. The pie chart shows pupils birth months. There are 5 pupils born in March. The largest number of pupils is in September. Only 2 pupils were born in April. We have learned and shared so many things today. I hope by now you know how to collect, classify and sort data. You should be able to read data from the pie chart as well. Don't forget to share your knowledge with your friends remember sharing is caring till we meet again assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh